You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. A speckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi. Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he is waiting for your name. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Okay then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So, the body is still in the tree where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him.